Okay, we're back live inside the cube at SiliconANGLE.TV, exclusive coverage of the HBase conference. This is the first uh, conference ever about the HBase community is putting on as part of Hadoop, and I'm here with uh, uh, Norbert Berger from the TBS. Turner Tur Broadcasting. Turner Broadcasting. Mm -hmm. TBS, and T yeah. Turner. Yeah. Um, you guys, uh, you guys have been doing a lot of big data, I've noticed, and a really high-tech organization. Um, I've bumped into some of your cohorts over the years uh, at events, uh, intimate dinners, and conversations. So you're very active in the community as a company. Um, you're here at the HBase conference. Tell us, uh, one, why you're here, and what do you think of the conference? Well, uh, so we at Turner have been using uh, HBase and Hadoop uh, for about a year and a half now. Uh, we've got uh, a, a cluster running, actually, in production um, that we're using to to analyze um, video operational data, so, so metrics about video, play, video playback sessions on our websites. Um, I'm here, I think, because, uh, number one, I think the conference is, uh, seem like a very targeted, very very effective way to reach uh, a lot of the folks in the community. Um, and, and also because I, I, I think uh, at, this, at this level there are a lot of uh, open questions about how HBase uh, will mature as a platform, how it'll scale. And uh, I think this is a great place to learn about it and to hear from other people. That What's are, your role there? Uh, so I'm a principal architect at Turner, um, and that means that I am uh, responsible for kind of choosing the technologies that we use at Turner for answering some of these big data questions, uh, mentoring other folks in our in our team, uh, making sure that we're making the right decisions on a, on a technical basis, um, and specifically a principal architect in our video team. Uh, video, uh, we deal with both the, the front end and the back end of, of video video playback. And uh, what we again, what we're using HBase for is to track uh, video player sessions um, across all of our partner websites, and then to uh, understand important metrics from from those sessions. Uh, how people are, what kind of performance people are seeing from video playback, what kind of errors they're seeing, what kind of what kind of um, what kind of results they have, what what, what their sequence is. Essentially, the, the click stream of data um, for for video. Uh, on, on each of our websites. So yeah, and HBase is a good fit for that. Obviously, you know, we were just talking before we came on, yeah. some of the things that we're doing in, in media companies. Um, and, and it seems that all media companies in general have woken up uh, recently to big data. Right. Um, go back and tell us about Turner, and you guys have always been kind of cutting edge, but when did you guys realize, hey, we got to actually think about using this big data to really, when did it hit the radar for you guys that, that uh, this has got to be real yeah. priority? I think um, when you think about the number of sessions that, uh, you know, the, the, the various, the, the, the scale of the sessions that we deal with on a day-to-day on -day basis, um, we have within Turner a kind of a, a core consulting group and that's responsible for making technical decisions on, for, for each of the properties, not just one property. And when you centralize that, that uh, those technical decisions uh, and you realize the number of, number of visits that we have to all of our websites, um, the choice of big data becomes pretty clear. Um, it's also, I feel that, uh, you know, in this day and age, whether, if you have any kind of presence on the net, um, you're going to get kind of pulled into this big data, big data field, whether you like it or not. Um, just because yeah. of, just because of the scale of the, of, of, of the internet and how, and essentially the reach of, of, of the internet. I mean, it's not that, um, uh, you know, any kind of reasonable website to, uh, today is going to get the, the, the kind of numbers that really make a, a big data decision, you know, Fairly, fairly evident. It's not. It's not. Uh, well, also, we were talking to a lot of folks here inside the cube. It's great. I love the cube because not only do we get to share the knowledge with you folks out there, but I had the pleasure of interviewing really a lot of the brightest minds here. Certainly in this this vertical, it's growing, and that is personalization. Like so, mm -hmm. one of the things that's interesting is that the notion of recommendations engine. Through we talked with Christoph at Weebly Data and others is that now you have the ability to provide some personalization. Right. So you guys have a huge audience. Right. So you have a big audience. So narrowing it down and giving someone a really um, uh, good experience on right. their interests is probably something on your mind, right? It is, certainly. Uh, at, at the moment, we're focused on kind of operational uh, re uh, performance of, of video playback sessions, but certainly uh, questions about business intelligence, questions about recommendations, that's not too far off. That's, that's yeah. not that, that so first, your goal is get into production. Right, right. Get into production, uh, understanding, uh, again, wh wh what kind of experience people are having on our websites and, and, um, and uh, making sure that we're, we're uh, that, that video player sessions, uh, that, that, that there aren't uh, issues with video playback sessions. Then from there, you know, kind of that second order of analysis of uh, understanding trending, understanding recommendations, that's, that's kind of the next phase for us. Let me see what the questions are from the Twitter sphere here. Um, all right, so one question while I look this up is, yeah. what are you guys seeing in terms of like, uh, 
um, developers, kinds of programmers you guys are hiring at Turner? Mm -hmm. uh, so our, our stack actually, from, from a technology point of view, we're, we're using some of the, the, the major components that are being tossed around here, uh, certainly Hadoop and HBase. Uh, we're using uh, a PIG for, for analysis purposes. Uh, uh, we happen to be a, a, my group is actually uh, using Python primarily, so we're, we're mostly a Python shop, but certainly uh, Java is you know, a big technology here at, uh, um, at OpenHBase, given that the, 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 the core components are written in Java. Um, so you know, both of those are kind of uh, you know, interesting technologies that we're looking to hire, more, more folks with experience in uh, Python, Java. Um, and, and certainly some of the... Some of the How about your operations organization? Are you guys spread out now? Are you guys mostly in Atlanta? Uh -um. um, operations are, yeah, certainly certainized in Atlanta, but we have data centers throughout uh, the U.S. Uh, engineering centers? Engineering centers, yeah. As well. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're building actually, uh, we're expanding uh, to, to the other parts of the U.S., but centralized right now in, in Atlanta. Um, so we are, um, uh, again, um, you know, focusing on understanding uh, um, video playback, uh, performance problems, errors that people are having with uh, video sessions on our websites. Tell us what's the most provocative conversations and, and sessions you've heard here at HBase. What are some, some things that have, wow, that's, that's something I'm, I'm going to have to think about. Right. Really compelling. I think, I think some of the, uh, the session, I just came back from a session from Ian, uh, Ian from Salesforce. He gave a great talk on, on schema design. Um, I think that's a, that's a really interesting topic that is not well understood by uh, many members of the community. Um, I also feel like uh, so, some of the talks earlier, I think uh, Cosman gave, an, uh, gave a great talk from uh, Adobe about how they're using uh, HBase for OLAP style queries. That's really, you know, digs, digs deep into some of the, to, in, into some of the best practices of HBase, how you design row keys, how you design column families, how you handle things like nested entities. Those are all, I think, really, really important concepts that, that really don't have a great uh, kind of uh, rules of thumb yet, and slowly through conferences like this, I think we're getting to the point where th those become you know uh, a common language, and, and we're going to be able to kind of take HBase to the next level. Um, so, a question from online here I'm reading is, um, um, what are you guys developing um, on, that's new, that's different from what you get on cable, um, and mainly around analytics? Mm -hmm. Um, obviously analytics in the media business has always been kind of like a crapshoot, right. gross rating points, yeah. but now with set-top boxes you have some instrumentation, so the question is, what's the metrics look like for an audience instrumentation like for you guys? Uh -huh. So there's, a, there's certainly a trend in our industry moving from broadcast to, to online. And that's, that's the direction that you know, everybody's realizing. Mm -hmm. uh, more and more folks are moving online. Uh, certainly, Turner has realized this. We have a, an effort called we, we call TV Everywhere, uh, which even some of the, the companies that you see here are involved in, um, and it's and it's basically an effort to standardize the the video playback experience from, for, for both uh, online and and broadband, and make sure that a paying subscriber uh, a paying cable subscriber has access to content digitally. Um, the metrics, I think, are very different, but they're they're going to become standardized eventually. I mean, within within the next few years, I think you'll you'll start to see some standardization. Uh, in terms of how people uh, tag sessions uh, in, in, in cable and how they tag sessions online and how they come together and how you represent the same thing. I think that still they're, they're, they're very different. They're not quite the same. Who's deciding that? Um, I mean, is it a standards body? Is it more? I think, you know, it's, it's, it's really, uh, I think you'll see some of the, some of the uh, companies like Nielsen and Omniture probably get together and, and, and um, make some, some official kind of currency definitions on what it means to have a session in, in cable and what it means to have a session digitally. So it is, it is uh, certainly something that I think everybody's interested in, but there's not, not one clear answer yet on, on it. Norbert Berger with TV, uh, Turner Broadcasting. Um, final question, share with the folks uh, your agenda for the next year or two. I mean, as you go forward, move past video, how are you going to be using HBase and big data for your, for your architecture? Right. So, uh, I think I think HBase as a technology is certainly growing. I mean, it's I, you know I, I've been telling everybody I meet here today that this conference today reminds me of what uh, Hadoop World was like in 2009. I remember going to that in New York and seeing uh, a conference about this size, about you know two three hundred people. And then if you look at Hadoop World today, it's it's just amazing. I mean, it's 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 grown to thousands of people. Uh, I, I truly feel that that HBase is going to grow like that. I mean, I just think that it's it's just the beginning of the technology. And we, once we get once we get through some of these technical hurdles, understanding how to uh, deploy HBase and understanding how to uh, host HBase in production, uh, you know the, the 
there's no limit to, to, to where HBase will grow. Okay, there's no limit to where HBase will grow. It's going to be a massive industry boom here. Obviously, we're big behind supporters of it. We, we uh, endorse it. I personally think HBase is uh, one of those moments where it's all going to kind of come together um, and the ecosystem's just about to begin. So appreciate your comments. Uh, this is SiliconANGLE.TV's coverage of theCUBE here at HBase Conference in San Francisco. We'll be right back with our next guest after this break. <laughs>